Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. And we are back where we started my last vlog on my couch. Um, this is a chaotic week and this is honestly not how I expected to begin this vlog, but we're gonna just jump right into it. Tonight I am headed to my very first dinner with Boohoo. I don't think I know anybody who's going to this event and my social anxiety is just on like 25 right now. So we're going to catch steak tonight, which I've heard such good things about, so I'm very excited. And I have a really sick fit. So I actually asked you guys on YouTube shorts to pick out my outfit. I showed you two options and you guys picked a really cute one. So I'm excited and it's like a customizable moment or basically the dress. All the pieces are held together by buttons. So you can like undo a sleeve, undo two sleeves, undo your top, like it's wild. So I'm gonna wear that tonight with some zebra boots. That was like the clear winner in the poll. So I'm excited to wear that. And I'm just, oh, I'm nervous for tonight, but I hope it's good. I think it'll be good. But yeah, so now it's time to get ready. It's only 5.30 right now, but I feel like I need a while because we're doing a whole completely different look for me tonight. We're doing a whole Pamela Anderson inspired beat today. I've never done it before, but I feel like with the bangs, it could be cool. So we're gonna curl the bangs. We're gonna do a big updo, a lot of volume. We're gonna do a stupid smoky eye. And I think with the fit, it's gonna look really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick video of me getting glam and we will come back when I'm ready to go and hopefully it'll look horrible. Y'all, I'm trying to follow a TikTok tutorial and it's not going well. So basically, I took my ponytail, I flipped it forward and I made like a bun in the back. Now I have all these pieces, but like, I feel like it is looking like I look like a volleyball player right now. Like it's just giving high school sports right now. It's not giving Pam, but we're banging. We're banging. The Dyson, if it does one thing, it gets the bangs right. Like it's the only way I know how to make my bangs look good. Like look like bangs. 10 out of 10. Okay, we have an update. I dug through my vanity drawer and I found two bobby pins. So we have one on either side. And I just kind of like try to grip as much hair as I could. And it looks really messy, but I can't tell if it's messy cute or messy weird. So I don't know. I may go FaceTime Gia and ask what she thinks because I don't know. Hi, is it giving Pam or am I giving like prom in 2003? It's giving prom. I thought this was gonna go so well. Okay, wait, let me let me help you here. What about that? Are you doing a tutorial? No! It is fully just gonna be sped up and it's me being I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I watched a tutorial. So make a ponytail. And then like curl it. So I did that. And I flipped it over this way and I made like a bun and there were pieces in the front and I just kind of pinned them in. Just like big pin. You know what you should okay. I think you need to go a little higher with the ponytail, and then you should try the topsy tail thing. What? Where um, I saw it on Chris Appleton, or what's his name? Do you want me to show you the tutorial I'm talking about? Can you send it to me? Yeah. Okay. Undoing. The fact that Gia asked me if I was doing a tutorial for this is actually the funniest thing I've ever heard. Like, ma'am, you know my hair abilities. You know they're slim to none. We're FaceTiming Gia again. <laughs> I have topsy turvied. Okay, what's what what's going on? <laughs> I topsy turvied and I did it higher. What do I do okay. from here? Grab like a piece, start kind of like designing it. <laughs> designing what? Am I in your vlog? <laughs> The feeling of defeat that I feel right now. The funniest part is that you were gonna do a tutorial. No, I wasn't ever. I said from the jump, I camera. I said from the jump, I was not doing a tutorial. <laughs> Other fun piece of this. What if I told you I have two bobby pins? Bitch, you need to drive me some fucking bobby pins. <laughs> Here this way. Yeah, that's looking cute. And then I think just like the side bangs pull them to the side a little, but they kind of just settle anyways, right? Yeah. 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 That's starting to like get. Okay, started. with with the T, so if it like sits like this. That's cute. 
believe in you. I love this woman. Okay, I'll <laughs> prepare for updates. Okay, you guys, so this is the look. It is look number two if you watched my little YouTube short. And this dress is from the Kourtney Kardashian Barker collection from Boohoo, which is so sick. So like really like with the buttons, you can undo it anyway. So you can take the sleeves off. I left a button undone in the middle. So it's more of a keyhole. You can make this a crop top and a skirt. Like there's a zillion ways to wear this, but I'm just wearing it pretty much how they sent it just with the top open. And here's a better look at the glam. I, I don't know if I'm happy with how the bun turned out, to be honest with you. I like the makeup, just did a lot of eyeliner, and I don't, I don't think it's bad, but I'm hoping like my ass doesn't come out in this dress, to be honest, because <laughs> where the buttons are located in the back. So if you can see like this opening in the back, I've realized it's like mid butt level. So it's me yanking on her and praying I don't flash an innocent bystander. I mean, it'd be like looking between buttons, but still like it's a decent size gap, so. Fingers crossed. What? You wanna do it again? One take Willie wants to go again? I just thought it was one thing. And there's William. Say hi, William. Hi, Barrett Biddies. It is a Thursday afternoon and oof, we, have, we have some catching up to do. So remember when I told you guys I had a test shoot today and I had a, this photo shoot? Yeah, um, no, it was yesterday and I missed it. It was a test shoot that I was paying for. It wasn't a job, thank goodness. But yeah, um, I wrote down the date wrong and totally, totally screwed up. Thankfully, it was kind of a communication issue on both of our parts. Like I misunderstood. I didn't hear from her either. So it turned out okay because I reached out and was like, hey, I'm so sorry. Um, and we rescheduled for next weekend. So it's totally fine. We'll get it in before the end of the year. But like I was fully leaving the house. Like I had my pile of clothes over there. I had my bag of shoes. I was going through my phone trying to find the address. And I go in the email. I'm like, okay, here it is. Copy and pasting it. And I said, wait a second, it's not December 7th. That's weird. And I look again, like I like zoom and I'm like, oh, that says Wednesday. It's Thursday, I messed up. So I texted her, it's all good, but oof. So yeah, unexpectedly had a free day today, but which is honestly kind of needed because I was dead after last night. I got home around 11.30 and I filmed a little bit, but I don't know if it was coherent, to be honest with you. And I looked a mess, so I don't know if I'm gonna include it, but. Last night was really, really, really fun. Just the group of girls was really cool. I got to see some people I hadn't seen in a while. And I got to meet the UK team from Boohoo, which was so cool. So my very first modeling campaign was for Boohoo. And honestly, it was like not good. Like I look so crazy in all the photos. I did not know how to model yet. Like I was not good at this yet. And yeah, I don't know, getting to go tonight and that being one of my like first big creator dinners was I don't know, it felt kind of serendipitous and full circle. I was very excited to be there. But then I came home and I took a sleep gummy, like not a CBD type of thing, like a regular sleep melatonin gummy from that brand Lemmy. It's Kourtney Kardashian's brand. I bought a whole box of them. And I don't know how I felt about it. Will and I each took one. The serving was supposed to be two. And neither of us could wake up this morning. We just felt so dead. Like it took me a full hour to like get out of bed. I was just dead. And then like got ready for my test shoot that didn't happen, washed my hair, did all those things. And then yeah, I was like, oh, what do I do with my day? Because honestly, I haven't had a free day in a minute where I've just had to like be. So what I did today was actually really fun. I sat right here and I watched the new Harry and Meghan show and I'm on episode three and it's really, really good. And then later today, I have the Revolve event. My very first Revolve event, and I'm excited because I know a lot of people going, I think. But um, my arm is fully cramping up right now from holding this camera. So I'm gonna walk, finish my episode of the show and then I'm gonna start getting ready and I will check in with you guys and show you the whole fit and bring you along with me tonight. You 
You guys, living in LA is so freaking weird sometimes. So Will just called me. He's like, hey, Saturday night, wanna go see um, the new movie, The Whale with Brendan Fraser? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, he's like, no, like Brendan Fraser's gonna be there. He's doing a QA. and a At the movie theater we go to every week, which is so wild. Like we see movies at an abnormally fast rate. And we like, what the heck? Yeah, The Whale Q&A with Brendan Fraser so freaking wild so doing that on saturday before my friend's birthday dinner but honestly though this movie does look really depressing but we gotta go support our boy brendan fraser we were gonna go look for friday night but that's entirely sold out so there's two of those on saturday so maybe i'll get to bring you guys to that and can i bring a, a camera to a movie theater i feel like they won't let me do that but we'll see we'll see we'll figure it out I'm not even gonna play with you guys. I had a full mental breakdown about my outfit. I meant to um, chat a lot more when I was getting ready, but people kept calling me because no one knows what to wear this event tonight because none of us have been to a revolve event before. So everyone's just thinking different things and it's not going well, but I like my outfit, but it's basically what I wore last night over again. So let me show you. Black mini dress is from Revolve. Boots are ASOS, as you know. Bag is Jacques Mousse. And I'm wearing the extensions out for the first time tonight. They are from Beauty Works. No, I feel like when I cut the bangs, though, I was really imagining it with super long hair. And so when I didn't have that, I was like, eh, I don't like this. But I feel like it's more the vibe now. But yeah, to get to this place, um, it involved like three FaceTime calls, two girlies sending me outfit videos, what they were wearing and multiple outfit changes on my end. Like, let me just show you guys. This is just all the things I tried on. There's multiple bodysuits and pants, there's skirts, there are shoes. My house is a mess. You guys don't get to see that anymore. <laughs> I cannot do that. I can only serve those two cocktails. Miss Gia and I made it into the event and we got these espresso martinis. This is my first espresso martini. And they're I love an espresso martini. It's with tequila. It's with 818. I think they're sponsoring the event. But like, they're strong. It's strong. Like they said you're getting drunk. I have to be on set in the morning, so. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. Oh my god, that was <laughs> Y'all, I'm unwell. I'm unwell. I but it's know. but I will say, besides the drinks being strong, it's so cute in here. It is fully a winter wonderland. Winter wonderland. Let me just give you a little tour. And before we unpack anything else, um, I got cookies from this place called Zoe's there, or Zoe's from Revolve. So we're gonna try them first with William. Um, I'll be unpacked tonight. So which one do you want? Do you want? What was the name of that plate company that put animals on plates? Z Zoo. You got this. Zoo. Anyway, Revolve was honestly a madhouse it was so packed in there but we got cookies and beauty goodies but it was a lot like no standing room everyone was like elbow to elbow it was it was intense what's it, what it's called zoo pals so which one would you like to try first ginger molasses that's the only reason i'm here she said for all the barrett biddies um she said that i could not have this cookie unless i appeared in the video oh it looks actually like very gooey okay oh my god this is my ideal cookie. Wait, this is perfect. So my favorite cookie is a ginger snap. It's like a molasses cookie. What's the other thing in this? Ginger. And molasses? Mm-hmm. So this is the perfect cookie. Mm-hmm. It is a little too gooey for me. I don't like my oh, cookies. Oh, I like the gooeyness. It take the outer edge is tastes like a baked cookie, mm -hmm. and the inside is tastes like a cookie dough. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. I love that. The flavor the is killer. Hits. Wow. Flavor is killer. This was worth going to the event. This is what they call a, a mukbang. A, a mukbang? Mukbang. We're not coming for Trisha Paytas' brand. Zoo Pals was a really cool thing that I never got as a kid. And if you're a parent watching this, you should buy your kid at least one pack of Zoo Pals. You don't make them anymore. I do. I just looked it up. Really? Yeah. Order. No. Order! No, we don't have children. 
I'm a child. I'm only 25. What are you talking about? You're halfway to 50. What are you talking about? Jail. Nope. Nope. We're not thinking about that. Zoo pals. Those aren't as cute though. I think that's how they looked. No, they were more. No. I looked it up. You guys, no. they did Zoo pals plates. Right there. They looked like. They looked like this. They did not look like it will focus. It did not look like that. No, that's a big difference. Oh, Zoo yeah, pals were. Right. Yeah. Never mind. So since there wasn't really a lot of food at Revolve, um, I was very hungry and I ordered Chick-fil-A the second I got in the Uber. So we're having mac and cheese right now. This is exactly what I needed. Like we were standing on concrete for three hours in our heels with no seating, which was fine. It was fun, but like all of her feet were killing us. I was like, yep, boots are off, sweats are on, comfort food is occurring. But it's so crazy because at events like that, like we're in basically a parking lot they rented for a few days and that's covered in like little like christmas e themed shops. Like you get cookies, you can get like some beauty samples and they had a store there you could shop and a big Christmas tree in the middle. But like, it's just 500 girlies just standing like shoulder to shoulder waiting to take a picture in front of the aesthetic spots. It's very chaotic. It's very interesting. Like. It's a very interesting people watching experience, especially for someone who's never been to a Revolve event. And they were saying Coachella is pretty similar. One thing I will say is I will give props to Revolve. They're definitely trying really hard to make curvier people feel more included in their branding. I've heard they're like working with some more plus girlies. They have the Remy and Revolve collab. They had a lot of curvy girls at the event tonight. Like I was really worried I was gonna be the only curvy girl there. And for that not to be the case was really, really nice. Like it made me feel really good going in. So it was really fun. I got to see a lot of girls I really like. I think Emma makes an appearance in the vlog. Emma Arletta, she's super, super cool. Honestly, if Gia didn't come with me, I don't know what I would have done. Actually, I do know what I would have done and I would have just not gone. I feel like Gia and I are just, we're a good duo because we can entertain ourselves pretty well. But oh my gosh, I felt so bad. We're heading out and we're like booking it to our Uber. And this poor girl tripped over someone, I think someone's foot and like stumbled and like damn near fell on her face. So very happy G is okay, but oof, that looked painful. And the mac and cheese is telling me to eat her. But I am sad. I was gonna try to show you guys in this vlog, me reorganizing our bathroom and trying to make everything more aesthetic. I just feel like, in general, my priority right now is like making my home as comfy and cozy as possible and clean because I'm a walking tornado and I'd love for that not to be the case anymore. So it's gonna do that whole thing of showing you organization. I bought a bunch of stuff, but my package is having a hard time getting delivered for some reason from Amazon. So we may do that another day. So if that interests you and you want to see more organization things, I would love to show you that. So let me know if you want to see that because I think that'd be a really fun video. I saw Molly Mae doing it and she inspired me. So I was like, I need to purge all of my like body products. I need to pick out my favorites. I need to go like stock up. I need to buy, buy organization things. So it's like a new era. I feel like I want to be super organized and just make my home a sanctuary. Cause right now, honestly, our bedroom is terrifying. Like, hey, well, is our bedroom horrible right now? Disgusting. Well, it's not disgusting, but we just have things everywhere like the floor is like who is this queen you speak of okay it's completely my fault we know we know <laughs> i think when i don't know what to wear like earlier today i try things on and i throw them like i'll handle it later but i don't handle it so kind of my goal before the end of the year is to get my home just as organized as humanly possible so i can come home from the holidays and be like oof this is great but the problem is the holidays are in like a week well i'm leaving we're both leaving in like a week and a half for Christmas. So I have a week and a half to get my entire house organized, which I'm not looking forward to, but I would love to actually do that. So fingers crossed that actually occurs, but we'll see. I'm gonna do my best. So we're gonna start with the bathroom and then try to go through the closets and just donate a bunch of stuff before the holidays um, and just really start the new year fresh on a good note. So that way, I don't know. I feel like this time of year just be so stressful and there's so many things you're buying and things like that. And I just wanna start with a clean slate, just begin the year without my closets busting at the seams. But for the rest of the night, I think we're gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna eat my Chick-fil-A, have my other cookie from It's Zoe's and just have a chill night. But then tomorrow we have a full, we could call it a wellness day tomorrow. I think I'm gonna work out in the morning and then you're coming with me to get Botox. So it'll be a fun day tomorrow. So I'm gonna take my extensions out and I'm gonna talk to you guys later. So I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
Good morning, you guys, or honestly, good afternoon. It is Friday afternoon at like 2.15ish, and um, we're gonna go get Botox today. I desperately need a touch up. So basically, I've been getting Botox on and off for like three years now, and it makes the world of a difference for me because I get these awful tension headaches from holding my eyebrows up like this, and also I have the thickest muscle in like 11, so right here, it's gotten a lot weaker now because we've been Botoxing it, but it's the point where in certain lights you could like see the muscle, it was like bumping up, which it's a genetic thing. My dad has the same thing and he and I are basically carbon copies of each other. So I knew what I had to do for a while now, but so I finally found a doctor who was like really good at it because <laughs> But the muscle was so strong, I would go get Botox. I went to like four different places and no one would put enough in. They'd be like, no, we're not putting any more in you. And it would not do a single thing. So I'd just be wasting like $300. So I found a spot, I found a doctor I love and I really trust. So we're gonna go do that today, which is just so needed because my headaches are starting to come back and it's just kind of unbearable because like if I like do this or this, which any normal person does, I get this like almost cramp on the top of my head. It's very annoying. So doing that today. I'm not gonna pretend I also don't do it for aesthetic reasons, but the headaches are just like the reason I need to go get it done immediately. You guys, I just had the nicest Uber driver on the planet. He was so nice and just a gem of a human. I love when that happens. You know, like you get the angry ones who are say crazy shit and then there's just the really kind ones and it's gonna be a good day. So I'm about to head in and go get needles stuck in my face. So wish your girl luck. I'll try to vlog in there, but honestly, um, that's scary. So we'll see. <laughs> Your girl has been thoroughly Botox. Let me show you guys what we did though. So basically, let me look at the viewfinder. We did this area right here. We hit this guy hard because again, as I was telling you guys earlier, we just had a hard time freezing her up. Then we hit this muscle up here. That's where the headaches happen. We also did a little sprinkle right here called like baby Botox, which is basically just like a little baby bit just so that way I don't start wrinkling now. Botox is expensive. I always forget how expensive it is. And I check out and I'm like, oh, Okay, gotta go pay off my credit card again. So, and we talked about though doing something else. I'll talk to you guys about when I get home, but I may be doing something a little more crazy next time I'm here, but I'm wanting to think about it for a bit. I don't like just like impulsive making decisions like that. So. Okay, my loves, finishing the filler conversation now that I'm home. Basically, my injector and I were talking about potentially adding some filler on my face, not my lips. I love my lips how they are. I mean, one thing I've always been insecure about though is the like smile line, they're called the nasolamboidal folds. I, I smile a lot, I don't know, I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm like, this has always bothered me. So a thought that I've had is adding some filler in there. So we had a whole chat about that. I don't really want it to be like a super noticeable thing if I do it. I want to be like very, very subtle and not a lot. And she was like, girly, I got you. Like, it's not a big stressful thing. And we kind of chatted through what that would look like for me personally. And so what we decided if, if I do it, I don't want to decide right now, but basically we would add a little bit of filler. Sorry, my makeup so splotchy. We had to like take a lot of it off to clean my face. But um, we'd add a little bit right here because I have like a tear trough line through my cheek basically. Like there's like a dent almost in my cheek. So add a little bit here, add a little bit here, which would add a slight lift and then basically go in super, super deep, like down to the bone almost. So not like a surface filler because that's typically what you can see very visibly. We go super deep. We add a little bit of filler on both sides right here and a little bit right here. And supposedly what that would do is like soften the line, but make it look very natural. So it's not like surface fillers filling in the line, but it's filling in like where the crevice is at the bottom that's creating the fold is kind of the thought process, but also like that's a lot and that's scary. And that's, that would be, we would in total use one syringe of filler. So it'd be like 0 0.25, 0 0.25, then 0 0.125, 0 0.125, 0 0.125, 0.125, which is not a lot, but like spread out. But I said, I don't want a puffy face. So we'll see if I end up doing it. But I know a lot of girls are dissolving their filler now, which I think is great. I like, I, we love a natural girly if that's what you want to do, but I don't know. I felt like that was something I couldn't do for a long time, but now that I'm kind of opening myself up to like, well, maybe that's something I want. It feels like it may be something I want. So I don't know, I'm thinking about it, but but if I do decide to go the filler route, I will be bringing you guys along with me because I feel like that's really interesting and people love to see that kind of thing. I love to see that kind of thing because I think it's just so interesting people's thought process and doing it in like the different methods. Like I swear, if I wasn't doing what I do, I would want to become an injector. I think it's so fascinating. 
Good morning, you guys. I, of course, forgot my vlogging camera, so we are on the phone right now, but we're gonna hit hot Pilates this morning. It's been a minute. Honestly, I kept scheduling classes and um, accidentally no showing, so I'd forget about it, because I had this bad habit of booking classes at like in the middle of the night, like 2 a.m., where I'm like, I'm in my healthy girl era, but I'm not. I forget about it, I don't show up. I get charged like $14 a week later, it's like, hey, you didn't show up to this or this, or this, so we're, we're showing up today. But yeah, Will so kindly drove me and I'm just chugging a prime before I go in because it is so hot in there. You work out in like 108 degrees while doing like really intense Pilates. So you're sweating like crazy. So this has all the, all like, it's basically a healthy version of Gatorade. So chugging this and then just praying I make it to class. So wish you girl luck, but I guarantee you when I leave class and I'll show you, my face is gonna be bright red. It's I am a level of disgusting right now. I honestly don't know if I wanna admit to anyone, but like I had this moment at the end of class when I realized that what I thought was a sweat proof active set it's not a sweat proof active set and everyone's smartly wearing black and I'm wearing like a light heather gray and I just looked at oh no I am like splotchy sweat all over my body because it was so hot in there like the amount of times I had to wipe the sweat off of my face disgusting but it was a really good class a really great workout I will say I feel like I get the best results when I go to hot pilates I just immediately feel snatched but yeah no I felt like a total fool M multiple times I had to be like I'm about to pass out. I was just like slowly drinking water, but you yeah, know, there's like at the end of class, they always end with like jump squats and stuff like that. And that's when I always start seeing stars. So water was chugged and I just tried to like, it pretend like I wasn't there honestly and hope no one noticed me because oof, I felt a little embarrassed, but it's okay. Cause I took it at my own pace and I got a good workout in and that's, that's the entire point, right? But so yeah, now we're gonna go home and I need to take a shower because I don't want to subject anyone to me right now. So we're gonna shower and get ready for the day. And then we have, we have a movie to see. We have to go see Brendan Fraser. We have a birthday dinner. We have a lot going on. And we're back on the vlogging camera and I've never looked so pale in my life. Oh my God. Okay, so second I get home, we're self tanning, but we are headed to go see the whale in theaters and we get to go see Brendan Fraser afterwards. He's doing a Q and A. So that'll be really exciting. So it'll be fun. But I realized after I worked out, I made a very big mistake and I forgot to eat. So I looked at Will and I was like, uh huh, we'll pass out. So we got a granola bar, but we're leaving it a little early so we can get me some food that's not movie theater food. Because honestly, after a workout, like popcorn just doesn't feel like it's a good idea. You know what I mean? If I work out in the morning, I am just not a person the rest of the day. I want to go to the mall, I want to go to Target, and I just, I like was laying on the floor for like two hours. I did wash my hair though, which is improvement but yeah i don't know that happened to you guys whenever i work out in the morning i'm just not a person the rest of the day so trying to power through i think part of it is that i didn't like eat before my workout i didn't eat after my workout so that it sounds like i'm the problem here to be honest wilco do you want to say hi hello wilco hello wilco we're waiting for our uber since basically since i'm headed somewhere after the movie will's gonna go hang out with his friend after the movie so Figured might as well make it easy use so that way everybody can drink if they choose to. They're responsible adults, aren't we, Will? Responsible. <laughs> Grabbing the literal quickest bite before going to the movie. But I must say, if you ever go to Tender Greens and get the Pacific Bowl with salmon, it is the best salmon bowl you'll ever eat your entire life. We thought about not going to the movie because it's sad, but we're gonna go, we're gonna power through, try not to cry on all my makeup, and go see Brendan Fraser. Brendan freaking Fraser. This is the face of a girlie who's been sobbing. We had to fully leave the movie early, like an hour early, because I could not control myself. It was just so sad. Like, there's only one other movie that made me cry like that, and that was A Star Is Born. That movie made me cry at the end. This made me cry straight from the jump. Like, about two minutes in, waterworks. Um, yeah, couldn't do it. So we just had to walk around Nordstrom and just smell perfume, which make me feel better. So that's where we're at, um, but yeah. Good job, Brendan Fraser. Thanks for killing my soul. <laughs> like, straight to the heart. With the birthday girl. She's won the 25 club today. 25. Wait, actually, can we play it after we leave because YouTube will copy her? Yes, <laughs> yes. I realized that. I was like, I, I wanted to be a YouTuber when I was a little girl, and now I'm living vicariously through you, so. What's funny is I had a full-on channel when I was a kid and like made Disney princess themed makeup Stop. tutorials <laughs> and like one of them has a lot of views and I can't find a way to take it down. <gasps> really? Yeah. I will never show anybody ever, but yeah, if you search hard enough, you can find it and it's me at 11 years old. What? It's Austin, happy birthday! Thank you! Okay. That is 
Hi you guys. I am so sorry. I feel like this has just been the worst vlog I've ever made. Like I feel like it's been so all over the place. So if you feel that way too, I'm so sorry. If you've enjoyed it, just disregard everything I just said. But um, it is Sunday night now and I figured while I have some dessert, we could catch up on the past couple days and kind of wrap up the vlog. So we're gonna eat some little churro bites together from Takaya and just, just vibe for a bit. So we're gonna pop this guy open. Wow. So these, you guys, are churro bites. And these are my favorite thing in the world. They are churro waffle bites. So they're like made in a waffle maker and they are just so good. They're kind of like those, do you remember those um, Eggo cinnamon swirl like French toast things? They came in like a, they have like toast but they were waffle eat and you put them in the toaster. It's like that, I know that make any sense. And it comes with a caramel sauce. So we're just gonna snack on this and chat. So I feel like I showed you literally nothing last night, but basically, we went to see the whale at um, Century City here in LA and Brendan Fraser was doing a Q&A and I couldn't make it through the entire movie. Like we left an hour before the ending. I just, I couldn't handle it. It was such a sad movie. I like, I just couldn't handle it. I was like, crying immediately. Cause like the first five minutes crying and like sobbing at one point. So Will was like, can we go? Cause you're just, you're making a scene. And I don't know why it just really bothered me but it was just really, really heartbreaking. I couldn't do it. I wish I could have made it through the whole movie though because I wanted to see Brendan Fraser so badly. I just was like, I'm being disruptive. I should leave. I don't want to spoil the movie for anyone, but basically it's about a really overweight man who is struggling with like the ramifications of his health issues. Like he hasn't been going to doctors and he doesn't want to. So he's been struggling with like all these health issues and he's trying to reconnect with his daughter before it's too late. And it's very sad. It's like mm, all the triggers, but it was really good. Brendan Fraser deserves an Oscar, honestly. I really hope he gets it, but I will keep an eye on that. But yeah, I wish I could make it through the movie. But if you can make it through the movie, please let me know how it ends. Cause I'm trying to Google it and find it, but I couldn't really find it like solidified. This is the ending of the movie. So after we kind of saw the whale, Will and I just wandered around the mall for a while. Just kind of wasting time because we figured we were gonna be there a lot longer before we parted ways for the night. And he headed to his friend Nick's house to watch UFC fights or something. And then I was heading to a birthday dinner. So we kind of wrapped things up and grabbed an Uber. And I headed over to my friend Austin's house and she helped me fix my makeup because I'd cried most of it off. Like it was very embarrassing. So Austin is also a model, so that's how I know her. But she is so good at makeup. She could honestly be a makeup artist. So she did a quick little glam on me just to kind of fix up what was going on with her makeup. Um, I tried to fix it myself and I didn't realize that our concealers were like such different undertones. And I didn't realize how like different, different undertones look until we pu I put on her concealer and I looked insane. So she spent like 15 minutes trying to fix me. I felt so bad. I was so embarrassed. I used to do all of my friends makeup in high school. Like that was my thing. I really thought I was gonna go become a makeup artist. Like I always wanted to be in the industry and I just thought that was like my way in. But um, apparently I'm happy I didn't do that because I did not what I was doing and I completely screwed up my makeup. So thankful, thank God for Austin fixing me up. And then we had this really good place. It's called Pizzana. And it was just a really fun night. I got to meet a new girly who I didn't know who was super nice. So it was just, I was social. I did the thing. But honestly, after this week, I'm kind of like, I never want to go out in public again. Like my social battery is so low right now. It's not even funny. But yeah, so this week has kind of done me in. But we did one more social thing this morning. So I got home around like 11 p.m. last night, went straight to sleep. I was dead Got up this morning, got ready, and I got to see my uncle. My uncle and my aunt were randomly in town, and so I got to go see them. They were at the Four Seasons, which is so, so, so nice in Beverly Hills, and we got to have brunch with them, which was really cool because honestly, I don't think I'd ever spent alone time with them ever. Like, my family is not super, super tight knit. Like, we'd see each other every once in a while, but like, we don't see each other every year or anything like that. But my dad and him, his, my, his brother are pretty close. So like we hear tea about the family that way, but we don't never like hung out. So it was really fun. So Will came with me. So when we were in college, Will would always come home with me for Easter. So we drove down from Oklahoma to Dallas to see my dad for Easter one year. And like, we're like going down there and I call my dad, I'm like, hey, we're on the way. We'll be there at like four. My dad's like, huh? This man totally forgot that me, his favorite child, <laughs> was coming home. We pull up and yeah, my aunt and uncle were there for the weekend. They had like a whole golf weekend planned. 
um which was fine like we just hung out and it was totally fine it was still like something I make fun of my dad for anyway I digress we had so much fun it was such a nice brunch um the food was really good at the four seasons the service was really good but it's like it was fun to just like hang out with like my family members as an adult like as of an adult with a fully formed brain now that I'm 25. But anyways, I know this vlog was chaotic and I know it was kind of all over the place and I did the best job of filming the whole time. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here and hanging out with me. And I'm getting better, I think. We're getting, we're getting somewhere, I promise. I feel like, I don't know, I'm still definitely learning how to do the whole thing. So as I'm learning, figuring things out, but thank you guys for watching and caring. It's like greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. I will say I have a lot of fun stuff planned. So I have a little activewear video coming or it may come before this one. It's more style videos and just like fun holiday content. So I'm getting quicker at editing and all that stuff. It's so funny. Every social platform is such a different like set of skills. So vlogging is a skill for YouTube, but also making sit down videos is a skill. Editing is a skill. Instagram is a skill. TikTok's a skill. And they're just, they're all separate abilities, like all separate softwares you have to learn, but um, I'm having a lot of fun with this. So I hope you're enjoying being here. And also, I'll say again, thank you for 500 freaking subscribers. That is so cool. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and commenting. Just everything. It means the whole world to me. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great week. And I hope that you had fun tagging along with my chaos this week. Um, it was definitely fun to bring you along with me. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!